Okay. Shady. Yeah. <laughs> Shady story. Should we make in a bill of rights where for the women we gotta pay commission faster rather than for, for men? Fake account. We have a bodyguard, you know? <laughs> what? It's just fake. Hey, welcome back to the next episode. Today we're here within the, our lovely guests uh, and today we're gonna talk woman into the real estate and there is going to be some interesting really really questions and tricky questions and get your teacup ready and stay tuned and ladies so uh, how are you feeling tonight good amazing nice. perfectly fine nice how did you find the road to here uh, except from the traffic dubai traffic uh yeah, it was we know wonderful, that. except for the traffic. Yeah, except for the traffic. Yeah, yep. if you put it that way, yes. Okay. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> How about if you? I say about from India to Dubai, it was a bit of roller coaster, but I loved it. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. We gotta talk on that then. How about you? Uh, My way from France to Dubai was amazing. Oh, I enjoy okay. a lot of Dubai, even traffic, uh, no matter. Okay. <laughs> And uh, how, how, how about you? Well, personally, uh, Anna, how about you? If you would compare it to the, not really to compare it, but just to talk about in, in terms of the traffic in Europe and Dubai. Um, obviously, I guess the traffic, the traffic in Europe is way better. The roads are better. Or how, what's the, do you feel this difference? And how does it feel this difference having highways over here and uh, compared to having some small roads, small tricky roads in Europe? It's very, very different uh, because in, I was uh, living in Nice and uh, okay. it's a small town. It's not like Dubai or even Paris, you know, it's uh, much, much bigger. So we don't have uh, this kind of traffic. Oh, we okay. have a little bit in the morning, uh, sometimes in the evening, but uh, all the time it's empty. Oh, Everybody's okay. work, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> Uh, Karina, if we just start talking about bit of Hunter in terms of the real estate, mm -hmm. and uh, we are already uh, had a talk our previous and to the podcast, and yes. uh, uh, I wanted to ask now, how are you feeling it right now into market, and um, does your way of working changed uh, earlier, and um, are you did, did you want to do the commercial or? Yeah, <laughs> that's a funny thing you mentioned. By the way, I did really enjoy our previous episode. I think we did. A tremendous job, and I hope everyone enjoyed who tuned in. Um, of course, you know, real estate is changing, and I think everyone can agree mm -hmm. that uh, the industry itself changes not quarter to quarter, but day by day. It is. Especially because we're in Dubai, it's mm -hmm. a metropolis, you know, we have so many people, so many different political views, mm -hmm. and, you know, there's so much things that are happening around us that we have to adapt. Um, to answer the question blandly, yes, I did change a bit of what oh. I'm doing. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, no, I did not go into commercial. I stand by um, the saying that I said on the previous episode. I think it's, you know, real estate industry is a big industry. And I think um, there are a lot of different things that go into it mm -hmm. that not everyone understands or everyone is trying to grasp everything. But... Um, Commercial for me, I'm leaving it. I'm probably never going to touch it. Oh, okay. Ever. Uh, I'm not interested in I'll that. I'll never come back um, on that to commercial yeah. again. <laughs> Makes sense. So, but uh, if we're talking about the industry and what I am doing differently, there has been a shift in areas, obviously. There has been a shift in the population in general. I'm sure that mm -hmm. everyone can agree that now there are more people even compared to last year's season that's why we're experiencing much more traffic mm -hmm. uh you know yeah. everyone is here mm -hmm. it seems like and uh the demand of the clients also change they are going mm. okay differently at the moment i am focusing as well on abu dhabi um you know for us brokers who are working in dubai you have to get certified to mm -hmm. sell Mm -hmm. in Abu Dhabi, mm -hmm. um, secondary. If you're selling off plan, you're free to do so if the company is registered here. Makes sense. But there now has we, been, we, yeah. We see the changes. We yes, see the changes. there has been a lot of uh, launches, a lot of things planned for Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. um, and the transactions itself, over 46 billion transactions have been recorded in Abu mm -hmm. Dhabi. So I think um, it does show a different trajectory. And I think a lot of people who've been in real estate, um, they see it and they're jumping mm. on the bandwagon. Wow. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. So uh, we'll mm -hmm. definitely come back on that. Yes, and uh, Kush, personally about you, you said you came from the India, right? And then yeah. you, the, the trip was a bit, uh, bit uh, I guess, a uh, uh, bit of a, as you said, kind of a roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> and um, 
How do you feel so far into Dubai within the six, um, uh, six, seven months over here? To be very, very honest, why it was like a roller coaster from India to Dubai? Because see, the kind of living we have in India is very much different from Dubai. It's oh, too yeah, much yeah, cultural yeah. and it too is, much yeah. family oriented. So mm. initially, my family was not able to accept the fact when I was an actor. Then when I jumped into real estate, again they were like, "What? This was never going to happen, and it happened." But Dubai has been really welcoming. Honestly, like the way people have welcomed, mm. the way Dubai wow. is accepting me mm. in all the all the ways, like in terms of professionalism, in terms of friendship, nice. it has been great. Nice. Like good. I am loving it in all the ways. Wow, nice. Yeah. <laughs> and let's get then introduce uh, ourselves each other for mm. so it gets more interesting. And then yeah. so I'll start within the myself where personally me uh, I ended up into the real estate, not just. Uh, as a real estate broker, I don't consider myself as a real estate broker, but mm -hmm. I would say we are making something unique over here into the real estate platform, uh, bringing more sustainable future for the real estate, bringing uh, really huge help, uh, huge potential push for the real estate. So we mm -hmm. could bringing something if in two words to say, which is like SaaS platform. And uh, I ended up over here into Dubai was like 2000. 21 where i used to work as an expo and uh, i've i've got my contract for six seven months uh, and i ended up uh, ended up myself uh, finding myself over here so i've, f I've finished my i finished mm -hmm. my contract within the expo where i used to work just as a u usual salesperson but then i was like okay i gotta do something better than that and uh, mm -hmm. i've i've met uh, one another friend which is andres founder of the portal uh portal our portal and uh, he offered me the he offered me the basically job. I was like, okay, this sounds that sounds interesting because that might bring really really huge potential into real estate and a lot of money, mm -hmm. right? So, and I was like, okay, so that's interesting. And uh, um, somehow ended up happy, being happy over here, being part of a founding of our portal. And uh, so yeah, we are here into real estate, providing our services since uh, end of the 2021. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, if, to be short, quite on that. And how about you, Anne? Uh, you said I've, we've, we've actually talked of the, of the records, right? Yeah. And you, you actually talked that your really interesting story was ended up uh, here in Dubai and history of uh, how I can like, explain I mean, I my like way your why you, <laughs> and how I, I start real estate in Dubai. Yeah, um, it's interesting. Uh, we came with my uh, family, uh, with my husband and my babies here. And uh, for his job, for mm -hmm. the job of my uh, husband, he's a uh, developer. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and he really like, nice. uh -huh. yeah. Real estate development, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. And uh, so uh, we came here. I was uh, at home with the babies and uh, he said to me, start to look at uh, some apartments, some uh, property to buy for us, for our family. Oh, okay. So I started to check uh, some uh, agency, contact some uh, agent and... Uh, it was one time, second time, third time. And I say, no one ask on my demand. And I mm -hmm. say, why? I ask S simple thing, you know, home, uh -huh, uh -huh. home for me, apartment for myself, two bedrooms, uh, enough uh, area for family, uh, for example, uh, I don't know, like uh, Dubai Hills. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, nobody, nobody proposed me something nice. I, and I think... Uh, Maybe uh, I don't know. I, in in my in my mind, I'm saying, look, uh, I'm real estate agent for seven years, so I I know how to be professional in this uh, okay. in this market. And when I saw someone who can ask on my question, uh -huh. it can propose to myself something nice. I, I said to myself, what, what's wrong with this market? Nothing to sell, impossible. So uh, I start to uh, look at the market, and uh, and this is, was my way to uh, to start to. But uh, tell us about your story where you said you've been you used to study real estate uh, at your university yes, stage, yes, yes. right? I, I and was, you, and yeah. your family came from. Yeah, real my estate. mom that's was in real estate. My brother is <laughs> in real estate. He, he's so that's, still working. That's interesting, in this guys. In, uh, you gotta listen it right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's uh, it's like a family business, you know. We uh, <laughs> all of us we do the same thing. So we share uh, a lot of experience between us. Uh, even with my brother, uh, when I was pregnant uh, for the first child, I every my clients I just uh, called them and say, look, this is my brother. So you can uh, you can be. Uh, 
you can you can uh-huh, do uh, uh-huh. everything with him like with me uh-huh, because uh-huh. Uh, I will be in touch with with you but even you can Regarding trust my brother work, yeah. if it was me so you know with the clients the most important thing I think it's um, to have a trust on you Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, exactly yeah you you can uh, you can sell everything you know in your life you, you can sell uh, any apartments but uh, have a good deal uh, my clients become my friends mm-hmm. so this is for me it's very important because mm-hmm. I work with them I sell one apartment then they say we want to change uh, the city okay let's resell your apartment so now we sell them apartment and they come to Dubai and I will find the apartment for them also. Wow. And now I'm, I have really, really interesting question. I'm sure you guys are curious on that too. Yeah. Didn't you get annoyed into the real estate? Cause you came from the, uh, you came from the real estate where you, your, I mean, your, your, where your family does the real estate, right. And you are also into real estate. Yeah. And didn't you get annoyed in that? I mean, like a bit curious on that. I'm sure people are interested on that too. You know, this is a very nice thing because, uh, I, my dream when I was young, uh, it, to be the designer oh, inside okay. of the apartments, you know. But when I start to study this, for me, it was a very, uh, I don't know how to say it to you, sit behind your computer and uh-huh. work a lot, you uh-huh. know. Uh-huh. And for me, it was crazy. I am someone very active. Uh, I'm a love to be in the contact with the other people. And okay. uh, I love to hear them and find the solution for them. So with the computer, it's impossible to, to be myself mm-hmm. with the computer. So I start to do real estate. And in my mind, I say, this is pretty same. You know, when you show, I was in uh, France, I was work uh, only in secondary market. Oh, okay. So when you go to the show apartment, you can uh-huh. imagine everything. Okay. And uh, when I came with my uh, clients in the apartment, I said to them, imagine this is, will be like this. This is, will be like okay. this. Okay. So makes sense. for me, I, I was like you a designer, get, but for my clients, okay. you know, you didn't get annoyed, annoyed that much. Well, that's interesting. Wow. And uh, Kush, how about you? Because you've told us also off the record of the video when mm-hmm. we just met, uh, when I've heard your history, uh, history, I was like, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> And tell us about how did you end up into real estate here in Dubai and your background of history, what you used to do before the real estate here. Okay, so as I told you about this, off the camera that I was an actor, I was in Mumbai, India. Then I moved to Dubai because last year when I came to Dubai and I saw Dubai for the first time, I loved it. I just loved it. The kind of living it is, the how much safe it is for women. And that was the moment I felt this is the place I want to move. This year I moved. See, my main thing which I always wanted to do was I want a brand. But when I realized I can be the brand, I can be a social media person and then I can sell real estate as well through that. That was something I realized I want to do it here in Dubai. Karina, let's talk about yourself. If we just... um come back it was into your history and shortly yeah yeah uh listen i think uh there are only a few people who go into real estate purposefully uh as we heard from the girls here um i also did not end up in real estate intentionally Uh so uh it's actually kind of funny i have the same story uh i came here in april 2020 21 right before COVID uh right after COVID because Uh Dubai uh opened up and it was the first place Mm -hmm. you know they handled it so great so I came here for vacation again like I grew up in US so for me you know Dubai was never this hub I didn't know I was Mm -hmm. here before Burj Khalifa was built and it was a completely different city so when I came here in 2021 I saw the city for the potential that it holds Wow. Okay, so maybe it's because I was much older, I have experience, I had other things to look at, but I remember specifically, and I mentioned it on my other podcast, that I was driving Sheikh Zayed Road, and to me, at that point, like downtown versus Palm was a huge distance, like 20 minutes was a big distance. So as I was driving, I was looking at the Museum of Future, it was just about to open, you know, people like all the places they had an enormous amount of entertainment which is yes it it is here but at the same time there was a lot of business that was happening 
-hmm. So not only real estate, finance, you know, crypto, fintech, mm -hmm. everything was happening here. Binance then moved to Dubai, mm -hmm. you know? So I was thinking, oh my God, you know, geographically speaking, Dubai is the hub. It is the connecting part between Europe, Asia, it is. It um, is. Yeah. you know, America. Yeah. And it does make sense that so many great minds are in one place. So for me, I did study neuroscience. I did public health. You know, it was a completely different field. But when I saw it, I said, mm. you know, I'm young. At that point, I was, what, 23, mm -hmm. 22. Um, why don't I try this? Because right now, it seems like it's a golden mile. Uh -huh. Like, literally, yeah. it seems like this is where money is being it is. produced. Mm -hmm. It is. You know, it is. so... It is a very stable economy. And I said, let's wow. try it. Yeah. Why not? So yeah. uh, I could say uh, almost nobody yeah. had the, the desire to to end up here working as in a real estate, I guess, except from the honor, because you you, you, you kind of had a dream to 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 provide something uh, within your um, like design for your destination, end of the destination for your clients, right? Yeah. But yeah. And now, so um, my main question, which uh, how does it feel to be real estate in the woman? I mean, how does it feel to be woman into real estate? And um, a lot of people say that it's easy to be here in Dubai <laughs> as a real estate broker and yeah. you can easily close deals. So you can just wink to the clients, right? Yeah. And you, you, you start to close your deals, right? Yeah. Listen, what do you think on there's that? There's a lot of stereotypes. I think a lot <laughs> yeah. of us yeah, can yeah, agree yeah, on sure. it. Too it's much. it's like the first reaction I think is like, ugh, <laughs> oh, <yeah>. you know? It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, true. Kush, what do you think on that? So uh, did you? So you 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 are quite a new over here, right? Yeah. Uh, curious in terms of your history, if you have some kind of su such those stories. I don't know if okay. you. It definitely it is that it happens that people think wow it was so simple but it is not uh -huh. i will tell you about my first sale that happened i think five months back and for me it was a big deal because i closed this client she's from new york on a zoom call oh and no way uh, yeah i never met her she has taken three properties from me till now in five months and she's very happy with me she's a friend now It happened over a Zoom call for me. It was like, it was definitely tough because uh -huh. I need to know numbers. I need to know facts. I need to know everything about Dubai being that I'm not from Dubai, but still I need to know every single thing to convince a client that this property is but, right for you. But, but did people, you, uh -huh. yeah, people, they thought, wow, it was so easy. She's a woman. She can do that because uh -huh. it's just kind of this, but no, it's not, <laughs> okay. it's not. So did you have a story where you had to close a deal and then he used to be a um, man and he was like, okay, maybe he, maybe he was trying to flirt uh, with you or... <laughs> I have a story. I think everyone has a story. <laughs> everyone I have has. a story. Actually, yes. I think everyone does. Well, I have let's a story. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, 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 let's go on that. Let's speak about but... difficulties uh, of this um, of real estate because <laughs> when it's easy, it's easy. Everybody, everybody know how to do it. Yeah, you know? but, uh, but let's, when let's it's talk something sure. difficult, uh, yes, well, girls, you Kush, uh, did you have those kind of histories? Personally, it was in okay. your experience where like some kind of like those histories okay. shady <laughs> yeah shady stories <laughs> tricky tricky it Wait. will be slightly controversial then here on the camera so for me uh being i mean we cannot it. mention names it's fine so yeah <laughs> i hope he does not watch this one <laughs> okay so for me in real estate it's been like seven months now and uh, okay so this client is From, okay, I'll not say which yeah, part yeah, of, it's fine. yeah. Just okay, so uh, definitely initially when I came to the closing part, it does not happen, nothing. He was good, pretty good. We uh, we had a good time chatting, uh, making him understand that, yeah, this is the right property. We closed him. Once we closed him, then he started a bit of flirting that you look good. Send me your picture, this and that. I no want way. to see the property. I'm coming no to way. Dubai. Can you take me on a tour Yo. to the plot side where the property is coming up? I was like, uh, oh my God, this is getting yo, weirdy. It's getting over. Yeah. yeah. And that point of time, I stopped replying. And then he was like, because you know what happened? 
till that point of time the spa the sales purchase agreement was yep. not signed i was like if this comes into a cancellation my commission is not going to come and i was like okay i told my manager take my phone chat with him okay. <laughs> i'm not going to do this okay. i'm not going to no do way. this okay. because That's... once the spa is signed then i'll be like okay fine now i will not chat with him and then it stopped he came to dubai i sent my manager take him on a tour show him the property show him the plot i'm not going to come anywhere and everything was done so he was a bit convinced that he's not getting anything out of it so <laughs> then it didn't not happen yeah wow <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of manipulated because I needed my things to come out yeah, that's you, all. Yeah, you you had to close the deal. Yeah, but yeah. it's wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is nice to be a beautiful girl, you know, but sometimes uh, yeah. we have to fight for this. I would say I'm jealous for you guys yeah. kind of. Guys here. being guys, some guys. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I I I said that I would be kind of jealous for you if you were like, you know, a woman into real estate. But yeah. And uh you just start to talk on to the your history where you said you would all all of us have a, your all of us have our own history, right? Yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah. I'm curious to to know your history especially you as a, yeah. as an, a mom, right? And you start yeah. to work into real estate. How does it feels for you to work as But, a But you know, I'm not looking like a, like a mom with the babies and uh nobody can understand i'm uh, married and uh, with the babies <laughs> so i very crazy story you know uh, i was work with a client from uh, europe a uh, very nice one because i'm from europe also so i know the mentality so it was uh, uh-huh. very perfect between us uh-huh. and uh, very nice you know when nothing uh, nothing like uh, between girl and man mm-hmm. it's uh, it's mm-hmm. only professional And then he came to Dubai and he say uh, I want to sew something um, in secondary also and I mm-hmm. say okay no worries I, I can do it. So we was uh, I show him some properties uh, and after that he invite me to uh, to the lunch. Okay. And I say to myself what's it's okay yeah, it's you know okay. because it's when like, I was yeah, working yeah, yeah. Uh, in real estate in France it was all the time like this I was never work in my office it was all the time out of the office mm-hmm. in the mm-hmm. beautiful terrace mm-hmm. uh, with the coffee uh, it was all the time like this it, it was really relaxed mm-hmm. so uh, I say yes for me it was nothing uh, nothing uh, nothing okay, you know? yeah. okay. <laughs> yep so uh, and during the lunch uh, it was um For me, it was very uh, curious because uh, I don't know. I don't have words, you know, because he said to me, you know, I work also with another woman. Uh, she saw me a lot of uh, unit also. Uh, can you? Uh, but he was saying me, uh, you know, but you're most beautiful than her. And for me, it was uh, what? what? <laughs> And I say, and, and he say, uh, if you want to go with me uh, tonight in the meeting, uh, I will buy with you. No way! And I say, oh. No. And I say, look, uh, oh, I, I know I'm that's... professional in real estate, but by the way, I'm married, I have two kids, and you know it. Wow! So yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. for me, it's impossible how you you didn't respect me, you didn't respect yourself to propose to the woman and... who. Uh, Yeah. Cool. And how do you act with those kind of clients? Because you were as a woman and the mom, right? You you grow up two kids. How do you act with them after? For me, it's no problem. If he if he don't want to buy with me only because uh, I don't want to uh, have a great time with him, why? I will. I'm not selling myself. I sell Obviously. the properties here in Dubai. Yeah. You know. Okay. Well, so I can suggest him. <laughs> the places you know there's a lot okay, so yep, but uh, yep. but no for me work it's work family it's family and, and yeah. i'm very uh, yeah. for me it's so you uh, try it's to keep it to respect, uh, so. everything uh, your family and work um you try to keep it prior- prioritized prioritize sure. you so you put the work on it and then you put the family higher and yeah okay. but for me you know it's um it's uh, very important in uh, in real estate uh be professional Mm-hmm. and It do is. what you have to do and uh, sure you can uh, suggest something uh, beautiful restaurant beautiful places to go out uh, for your clients but uh, for me i i was uh, enjoyed to uh, to have a lunch to speak about real estate mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. not a lot about other things you know okay i uh, like to share to become a friend when i saw he wants to be a friend with me mm-hmm. but when it's more than friend I okay. can propose it. Uh, 
Korean, I'm a bit curious on your side. Like, did you have any of your personal stories? Maybe you were where clients go and then they they start to flirt with you, flirt, flirt chart, and then they go like, oh, you know what? Maybe you show the property on site. And yeah. then they were like, maybe you, you would have those kind of stories. And then they would maybe they would start to act <laughs> like a womanizer <laughs> ad, right? Yeah, it's actually so a very we, funny thing. Uh, yeah. I... I did a, my first ever episode on podcast was about women in real estate and all the yep. stereotypes. Uh -huh. So one of them, you mentioned the fact that it's easier for women to be in real estate. On the contrary, I think it's harder to be a woman because for a man, you don't have to think about this. You know, you don't have mm -hmm. to think about how am I going to dress? Is this revealing? Will this be provocative? Do I look a bit unprofessional? Mm -hmm. You know, so there's mm -hmm. certain things that you think about. And I personally think that, unfortunately, the reason why this whole thing exists is because of women as well. So, like, I'm not trying to bash. I'm just trying to say that if you look at it objectively, the only reason men disrespect you and put you in this position is because someone else already did. Somebody else allowed them <laughs> to say, you know what? Fine. You want me to have a great time? You want me to come up with you wherever, show you whatever, mm -hmm. show you, give you anything? Mm -hmm. Fine. As long as I need the commission and I'm the closing agent, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. So I think there is a part of taking responsibility and women actually like understanding. And there is a different part to it where... It is the culture in Dubai, unfortunately. A lot yeah. of girls who don't know anything about, as you said, finance, mm -hmm. market, numbers, mm -hmm. the only way they will sell is by selling themselves yeah. with it. You know, again, That's is it right? Though. Is it's it wrong? I'm not the person to say. All I can say is that it does damage the industry and it does reflect mm -hmm. on other women. It is. With me, I am a very straightforward person ever since, you know, I am hungry for money, but I'm not desperate. So mm -hmm. if I see a man, I can pick up whether he's flirting or not, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, from the very mm -hmm. beginning. Oh, okay. So <laughs> when I say hi to them, I can know the way they mm -hmm. look, the way they smile, how they walk, whatever. So I would either just say, oh, hi, baby. I'll pretend that I'm on the phone with my partner or straight up if somebody says, you know, if you don't do this, I won't do this. I'll say, have a good one. Goodbye. Block. I am not interested in keeping them as a potential client. I am not wow. interested okay. in keeping them as a friend. Literally, it's, it's, full stop. It's just about respect yourself, you know. Yeah. If the, your client don't respect you, uh, why you, you will work with him? Okay, I'm not working for your money, you know. I work... Sure, I, I work for my commissions also, but uh, why I, I respect mm -hmm. myself. I yeah. don't want to work with But see, just with here it. I have a story. Yes, there mm -hmm. is stories with clients, but there's another story where you don't consider clients, but you need to think about the companies as well that you work for. Because we are yeah, in the male-dominated industry. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's only maybe 40% women mm -hmm. in this industry. Well, actually, no, scratch that. It's 60% women. So it is female-dominated. But men are still making the decisions. So my experience that I had is because I wouldn't flirt, because I wouldn't be reachable to, let's say, my manager or my boss, that stirred up a lot of problems. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. this is, I think, the true consequence when, you know, with a client, you can say, you know what, thank you very much, but no, thank yeah, you. Makes sense. When you're working with someone, when you're waiting for commission or you know, they are managing your deals, whatever your time in the beginning, it is very hard, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. if that person is a man and he has different, you know, different things in his mind besides mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. business with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that is a very difficult. Uh -huh. So now I have uh, more, more, um, that's, I think our talk is getting more interesting and interesting. And uh, yeah. <laughs> now I have a question for Anne and uh, Kush. Did you guys feel the differences between men and women in terms of the loyalty where it comes to, uh, when you just start to work with your clients, right? And uh, it seems like maybe you feel some pressure or in terms of the loyalty where you, where you start to building a trust with them. Seems like for the, for the men, uh, as in a broker, they have more, the clients have more trust rather than women into into real estate. Uh, I, for for myself, I think it's uh, very same. Girls, yeah. boys, 
no matter. But um, I think here in um, for me in Dubai uh, in real estate, a lot of clients, uh, a lot of brokers call the clients the same, and this is a very hard way to uh, have a first speak with the client because they are so tired. Mm -hmm. Because of calls, because mm -hmm. of uh, no matter girls, boys. Sometimes I call the clients and he say, "Oh no, thank you, club." <laughs> yeah. So I give the number to my colleague boy and say maybe with the girls it doesn't match. So I give their number. He called the same history. So it's not uh, about uh, girl or man. Uh, I think it's big. It's um, your way to speak with the people to explain if you how you can deal with them mm -hmm, if you mm -hmm. you know okay, the market if you know your technologies yeah. you know makes sense you, you Even, share like, technologies if i talk about this uh, for the timing i have been into this industry i have not faced this mm -hmm. like a girl or a boy mm -hmm. for me what i have understood the kind of knowledge you're holding is all what you need mm -hmm. it's all what you need it's mm -hmm. not about a girl telling you something or a boy telling you something uh, mm -hmm. if a man says this he has a uh, more power to it no it's not like that and mm -hmm. especially in dubai i have not seen this okay no but uh, also curious in terms of the next question where didn't you have a story where behind you was in your experience uh, one of your clients where they start to work with you and then they realized oh you know what um i think uh, i finalized because of your woman I, I don't I have like kind of less pressure I mean less trust on you or you 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 try to build those uh, trust more higher uh, you didn't have those stories I, I, I see like no. where okay not for okay. myself that's interesting and um, Anne, I'm a bit curious so you came from the within your background um, you burned into the Belarus right and yeah. you you grown up in um, Nice uh, France um, if to compare uh, in terms of in terms of the the way of life and living um because obviously here is there like a lot of huge mansions and uh huge villas uh but i'm i'm, I'm not sure I, about the about the lifestyle on on europe i've uh, to, i'll be very honest i've never europe? been into the europe uh, and um uh, but well, what's the lifestyle over there for the uh, for the people who lives there or is it do you feel differences? Uh, sure. People are like sure. Here. It's very different kind of style of life. It's uh, in Europe. It's uh, it's cozy. It's relaxed. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you don't have a rush. It's uh, very uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. very very relaxed. Really. So for young people uh, like us, I think it's uh, it's very boring because you you want to work. You want to uh, to work hard. Mm -hmm. To have uh, to buy your own uh, apartment, to uh, buy beautiful cars, beautiful uh, clothes, and and you can because uh, everything's so relaxed. It's uh, so slowly. Even for uh, for example, uh, I was selling the villa, and uh, for one year we signed the contract, and I was waiting for one year my commissions. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's very slowly. It's uh, it's not like here, you know. Here it's. The market, it's crazy. Real mm -hmm. estate, it's crazy. It's, uh, you have a lunch in two weeks, you have nothing in, in this building. So uh, yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> in, uh, you know, for me, Dubai, it's like a baby, he uh -huh. growing up. Oh, okay. And yeah, Europe, it it's like a grandma who have a chill <laughs> okay. uh, on, the, on the beach. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, it's very different kind of uh, but... life. But uh, I love Europe. Europe uh -huh. for me, it's... Uh, it's uh, I don't know how to tell you. It's very pure. It's uh, mm -hmm. nature. Mm -hmm. It's uh, beautiful. It is, yeah. You will uh, drive maybe one hour by car, and it's very difficult. Uh, uh, difficult. Very different uh, around. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's mm -hmm. amazing, really. You have to go to Europe to feel it. You know, okay, just to sure, feel it. Definitely. It, it, it's so full of place, history, also. Place yeah. to visit it. Yeah. It is. Uh, but I'm also. Um, cautious in terms of the do you feel the differences between audience that you worked it was in the europe and here in dubai maybe the people that you work the clients that you work investors that you work with in the here in dubai they are more maybe wealthier or sure in um, france i was working secondary only it was i was looking for the uh, apartment and uh, for the life you know not for investment because it's not so interesting to invest in europe for to be to be clear oh, okay. to be honest yeah okay. it's very interesting here because it's just growing in europe we sell the agents we sell 
all of us the same thing yeah so uh, mm -hmm. that's the difference okay. and here why i came here and i saw the market and i and i saying wow it's so interesting but i think now the market it's still growing but i think now it will be interesting to work in secondary also so uh, right now i work uh, in off plan but i think secondary it will be very very uh, Mm -hmm. okay, close yeah. to, to work. Kush, Karina, what was the biggest problem that you faced it into real estate? Maybe you, when you were closing your deal or um, sure you had some kind of troubles, maybe it was the beginning state where you just start to learn into real estate, right? So did you had the problems uh, so, such kind that where you had a huge, huge problem then you have to overcome it? No, I won't say a huge problem because I'm still experiencing learning a lot of things, uh -huh. but uh, Quite a few times this happened that I uh -huh. did a sale, uh, I uh, submitted the check, it has happened and because uh -huh. sometimes you know what happens, the launches happen, it gets sold out and through some other agencies we get a unit and the moment we bank it, we like the block the unit and those agencies they like give us the unit back. It did happen with me quite a lot of times and then I I, I just lost my deal, I lost my client. So that happened with me. Uh, so, yeah. uh, okay. okay. Uh, for me, I, I remember in the beginning when I was just starting real estate, um, I am an impatient person. Okay. okay. As a person, like personality wise, I am very fast moving. I like things done me very neither. quickly. Um, so for me, the hardest thing was just to anticipate and wait mm -hmm. for the commission because you know when we close unless it's secondary market yeah. you don't get it the same day yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. you get it like three four months after yeah. so this mm -hmm. was the biggest thing for me but like i wouldn't say it's a it's a problem or a difficulty uh -huh, it was just uh -huh. an ad adjustment <laughs> period, something that I had to accept because this is just the industry, you know? Oh, I have a question. We, we, should we make in a bill of rights where for the women, we got to pay commission faster rather than for, for men? No, I think, <laughs> I, think, I think this is actually very good. You know, like maybe a lot of people will hate me for saying that, but I think the longer you wait, uh -huh. the better you work. Oh, okay. Because again, like um, maybe, maybe it's different for other people. I don't know. I can only speak for myself. Mm -hmm. um, when you anticipate money and with every deal that you close i mentioned it on our previous uh, episode i said that you know once you get money it's very easy to let go mm -hmm. you know yeah. like okay you get like a hundred thousand commission and then you're like sitting there mm -hmm. oh my god i'm the boss i just sold whatever whatever and then you relax and once you relax you lose the momentum yeah. Okay, so yeah. once you lose the momentum you have to start all over again yeah yeah and then in reality Okay, you got the commission check, but then you have to wait another six months until you're actually capable of being in the zone, closing consistently yeah. and knowing that, okay, one, two, three is going to come. Yeah. So, but I think it's a good thing. Uh -huh. yes. Well, now coming back to the woman into but, the real you know, estate. Just, just a second, for me, two, three months, it's it's like a, like a dream, you know, because in Europe you get your yeah. money in one year. So it, it's crazy. sometimes it's more, you know, crazy. <laughs> so for me, really uh, three, wow. two, three months, it's, it's like, wow, it's too fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, okay. So coming back to the question into the woman, into the real estate, did you ever, I mean, not did you, sorry, again, do you have a spray spray or some, some kind of, uh, <laughs> I gotta Some trust kind of it. Uh, I gotta wait. I gotta read the English one. Sorry, it's Russian woman into real estate. It says pepper spray. Just say pepper spray. Paper spray. Pepper spray. Ah, pepper, pepper spray. spray. Okay. Yeah. Scratch that. <laughs> Scratch it. Or something to protect yourself. I don't know. Oh, okay. So I'll read the question, and it says, "Do you have some kind of uh, self-defense methods uh, before you go into the real estate? I mean, or well, I mean, not obviously before you to go to real estate, but when you when you realized your you, when you realized yourself into real estate, maybe you took some some of the classes of self-defense or, or I don't know, or like pepper spray, right? Uh, and, we have uh, a bodyguard, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you have one really? No, I'm no, joking. No. I well, think in Dubai we don't have to worry yeah, about it. It's very honestly. safe here, I you know. I did keep it when really? I was in India, but yeah, not, not, in, not Dubai. in Dubai. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. in Dubai. Yeah. Europe not as well, Anna, right? Like in, in Europe, Europe, it's yeah. not as yeah. safe. Like in US, oh my God, 
You cannot but even in Europe. Yeah, I, I was feeling this this safety. You know, I don't uh, know why. Maybe because yeah. uh, I came from Belarus. You know, from. Uh, <laughs> not safe at all but it's very different so when i came in in france and i say wow so clean so beautiful even small village you know it's like uh, small towns and i say wow I, in my childhood in my village it was not like this what's okay. what's the different <laughs> it was very yeah. different you know so, no, so for me it was uh, very safe very clean very very perfect life and when i came to dubai and say wow this is the top of the top yeah, I thought you you uh, I thought you guys at least minimum have some pepper spray with your back or. I yeah. really don't think we have <laughs> yeah. to. Like, like I think Dubai is doing a beautiful job, mm -hmm. and uh, honestly, maybe the other place I can compare it to is like Singapore, you know, and that's it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Nowhere else. Mm -hmm. So did you had the stories where you get scratched it and then you had to start from beginning? I think in real estate, no matter like I I know we're talking about women, and I think women are more inclined to self-criticism. So I think every time we lose a deal or something goes wrong or, you know, not the way we expected it, I think we take it as like a failure, you know, like not a failure in a big thing, but we do think, okay, yeah. uh, one, two, three, I should have done it this way. I should have pushed a bit. Maybe mm -hmm. I shouldn't have pushed a bit. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we reflect back. Uh -huh. um, I personally don't have like, a, I know I'm not trying to say like I am perfect. I don't have a, a story where I messed up like per se with like uh, any documents or anything. But I do think that every deal that I lost, yeah. every client that somehow it didn't work out, I do take it as a mess up. And it's hard because mm -hmm. it happens a lot. We, yeah, we have yeah. a big volume yeah. of clients. Um, but yes, it does reflect and it does feel like, okay, you you messed up. So I think, um, it's, it's, it's very important to look back at it, not from like critical points, but just as a reflection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Quite the same. Even I would say that because I don't have any such stories, but uh, every time something happened and I lose a deal or lose a client, I keep like doing this uh, overthinking that I could have done this in a better way, or maybe I, ha I would have been a little patient so that it would have happened. So yeah, that uh, definitely comes to my mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Kush, so I'm curious in terms of uh, you guys are um, uh, still experiencing the real estate mm -hmm. here in Dubai, right? And uh, for you personally, uh, would you consider to work within the other parts of the real estate, maybe commercial, rent, uh, leasing? Uh, which one you would prefer to work with? Like, as of uh, now. As of now, because yeah, we- As uh, of now, I am doing off plan and that's going good because it's a initial stage for me. I'm learning a lot of more things. With the coming time, I might look into secondary as well, but mm -hmm. for now off plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about you? For myself, it's same because uh, when I came here, you have a lot of choice uh, mm -hmm. of the off plan, but uh, I really think I have a lot of demand in the secondary. Mm -hmm. So this is my work in uh, Europe. So mm -hmm. I was work only in secondary, so now, I have a lot of demands. I don't know if they feel, uh, oh, this is the right person to have the secondary market. <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, now really I enjoy to work with the secondary market, but you know, in Dubai, it's very hard. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of agents uh, want to work with you and it's yeah. very difficult to find very good apartments. Uh -huh. So sometimes my fucked up story about this, that I was very rude with the agent. Uh, okay. <laughs> I just asked him if uh, we can uh, see the, this uh, apartment and uh, he said to me, oh, you're looking for your client? And I say, yes, sure. It's it's normal because for seven years I was work like this. Uh -huh, uh -huh, in uh -huh. France, we have uh, on the system, we have every th single unit mm -hmm. on the market. Mm -hmm. So I can choose everything and just I will share my commissions with another agency. And here they say to me and I say, even if my client pay my part from me and you, you you will take your part. No, I still not work even like that. And mm -hmm. I say, wow, you are, you are crazy. It's stupid. Okay. And, and she says, this is uh, actually very funny because this is what I do. I don't work with other agents <laughs> at all, at all. It's, yes. It's, For me, it's crazy. And the market, it's, uh, it's moving a lot. So why? I prefer to find the right apartment for my clients. And don't say to him, oh, look, uh, this uh, agent have uh, the perfect apartment for you. Like I yeah. think, you know, so for me, I prefer to share my commissions 
but find the right apartment for my clients. Uh-huh. And when I saw the agency who don't want to share for myself, I'd say, but it's crazy. Why? Why? Yeah. I can understand that. So I yeah. think it depends you can explain on, I, I think Karina? it depends on like the way I work is if it's below 5 million, even 5 million, there's no way I am sharing my commission because I started off as secondary. So I didn't mm-hmm. go into off plan. And mm-hmm. I personally think that in order to understand real estate, you have to know both. There's no way yeah. you can sell off plan without knowing secondary. That's true. Uh, so when it comes to secondary, it's very hard. Uh, yes, there's database bases, you know, mm-hmm. but there's also a lot of units and all the units, let's say Mohammed owns unit 1302. I sold this property to Mohammed three years ago and I keep working with him. He's my exclusive client. So when I put a property on Property Finder and let's say it's 2 million, Mm -hmm. I don't need another agent coming in and taking half of it because I know I will sell. You know, like if you think and if you know that you are in control because it is a seller's market right now, it doesn't matter if you have a buyer. It's a seller's market. If you have a seller, if you are in a position that no matter which agency it is, they will come to you. So why would they go to another agent, split commission when two days later, the client will call you? Because yeah. if he wants the property, he doesn't care. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Like if I want this car, I don't care if it's Ali or say Mohammed is yep, selling it. Exactly. I'm just going to go and get the car. Exactly. Regardless, it comes down to your relationship mm-hmm. with the client. But mm-hmm. I'm just trying to portray it from second party. You know, like for you, yes, maybe he was rude in the way he mm-hmm. was talking mm-hmm. or he didn't explain no, it to you. I, I was rude because for me, uh, I was work this way for seven years. Yes. So for me, it was normal. Yeah. So when I contact the agency and he said to me, I don't work, I say, Wow, crazy. Yeah. It depends. I don't ask yeah. you to share your commissions. I will because it's my client, my friend, my yeah. close client from Europe. So she wants to work only with me. Okay. So she will pay my services. Yeah. But so see, I, never, for him, I will never ask your commissions. You but know. for him, it's 4%. If she came directly but to him, it's four. She paid for it. She paid for it. She I knows know, she I will know. pay for my services. Yes. Other way, she will contact. Uh, she will go to the property finder, but yes. she don't want to lose her time. Yes. And uh, that's why she asked uh, to me to yeah. find. So I lost my time, you know. <laughs> yeah. So for me, it's and not think, lost yeah. the time. It, I, it's my work. So my yeah. work is find the right apartment. Yes. To the, this person. Yeah, yeah, and it's tough to work within the real estate agency yeah. in the yeah. into local market. And uh, yeah. if I go into the next question, which real estate industry you think will bring more money uh, as a commission base also and uh, as, as your vision that probably you would uh, you would say that, uh, oh, I will earn more commission, which from this industry and I'm sure my client would uh, double it from this industry. What do you think on that? You know what? I don't work for commissions. I work to keep the client for the long term. I want to sell to him the good apartment, the good properties. Mm-hmm. And then if he wants to resell it, I will do it. So I want my clients to trust me. And I will be there. <laughs> Only into edit. the off-plan and secondary both, both of them okay. it's yep. in the same way uh-huh. uh, because uh-huh. here a lot of clients buy off plan and then it will be secondary market if they want to resell yeah. i have a lot of clients on the flipping so this is secondary mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Uh, okay but i'll tell you okay i'll tell you my story and uh, i find that i found out recently just recently i've just talked it with one another uh, investors he's originally from us and what they do they they do a flipping but in terms of the commercial, what they do is they basically request for the warehouses, right? This investor, he come up and he requested some help from my side because again, we are also not into the real estate commercial. And um, and this guy will come up and then ask that, hey, you know what? You guys are into real estate, right? And then we go, yes. And then they said, I need commercial real estate where I can do some, some kind of warehouse or where I can... I can uh, do kind of big things, industry, like, you know, so I can put my uh, cars and uh, ve- vehicles into, into that vehicle and I'll pay the rent or I'll get that mm-hmm. uh, get that property. I mean, not the property, but the commercial. commercial Space, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, 
if you, I don't know, did you guys have a look into the pricing, into the commercial part for the, where more in terms of the warehouse maybe because, mm -hmm. well, Amazon, where if you have a look into the Amazon, they rent those warehouses. And then if you have a look into those prices of the rent, it is huge amount. It yeah. comes from millions and up because um, uh, rent is huge. Yeah. And yeah. Um, we didn't have a look into the rent side at all as um uh, as personally, for example, Kush, you, you, you mm. didn't have a look a vision, so you would not ever, I mean, you would not consider rent to, to work with, as I understand. I haven't thought for such a long way about whether that would be a part of the story. But as of now, I'm focusing on what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. But there is a lot of money in commercial mm -hmm. real estate. And it is, it is. The great part about commercial real estate, which... I can't believe I'm saying because I'm not going to be working in real estate, uh, in commercial real uh -huh, estate. Uh -huh. The rents are crazy and there's not enough space. So I had a client, a very big uh, franchise of a Russian restaurant from Moscow. They wanted mm -hmm. to open up in DIFC. Mm -hmm. There is no space, you know, and even if there is space, it's not big enough. And, you know, licensing, alcohol, all of that stuff, yes. there's different free zones. It's crazy. It's a very good potential. I think after residential kind of slows down a bit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think commercial is always the way to go because it's, it's regardless, yeah. you know, yeah. entertainment will it always is, be yeah, here. It is. Um, so yeah, I think yeah. it's a very good, uh -huh. yeah. Um, coming up to the next question where, uh, Kush, do you have your own personal stories within your experience that, that you met that person uh, or you met this investor client and that was funny, really, really funny story, which uh, you would uh, consider to share it, uh, which which was maybe fun. You would share that. Okay, uh, so this was um, happened, I think, just one and a half month back okay. that all my deals have closed through my social media. So it has not been something which my company provided a lead to me and I closed it. It was uh, all through social media. And uh, mm -hmm. it was like two months and it was like a break, like when I felt a moment came when I felt, okay, it's happening, it's going, it's going. So I just slowed down a bit and then it stopped. I felt like, what happened? Why is it not happening? Why am I not closing? And then I'm just sitting in my office. It was like 8.30 and I received a message on my Instagram and it was a fake account. No that hi, <laughs> Yeah, it happened. It happened. It was a fake account that, uh, hi, I'm looking forward to buy a property and uh, I'm happy to jump on a Zoom call. I felt it, it must be a fake account. It looks like one. Uh, I told him just uh, like there's a link in my bio, fill it. And I will receive the inquiry. I'll get back to you. He immediately did that. I went on a Zoom call and this guy it turned out to be a very big IT professional from San Diego. And he took like it was my biggest deal till now in six months. And I was like, oh, my God, did this really happen? No a fake account no texting me on Instagram <laughs> and it happens like this. And now. Like we are in touch and he's such a professional guy that will be doing good business with the coming time. It's like a long-term relationship with his family. So yeah, mm. this happened. Crazy. Right. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. Crazy. This is a good, these stories, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. And um, since we're into the real estate, I was wondering, did you, do you guys watch Netflix? Yeah, yes. of course. Okay. Um, the reason I asked it, you, there is um, one reality show onto the Netflix where they did, which is called uh, Selling Sunset, right? Uh, did you guys he heard the... I just finished seven, seven season yesterday. No it way. It was bomb, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. <Yeah. laughs> okay. So I'll tell you. So Netflix, what they did is they decided to make a reality show where there is a woman into real estate. And um, now I'm uh, cautious to know about your opinion because they tried to... They try to kind of some somehow like show the way a uh, woman into real estate. And um, uh, I, if you didn't watch that, I really suggest you to watch that. And uh, it's it's fun. Mm. And, I didn't uh, watch this. Yeah, you, yeah, you, gotta, you gotta do it today. Because yeah. I can't remember how to start this one. I was thinking a few days back that I have to watch this one once I get time and I will binge watch. So yeah, I have to start this one. And what do you think of the of that reality show? Because is it is it somehow like kind of real? Uh, to the movies they did? I mean... Uh, okay, you guys haven't seen it, right? Yeah. Okay, so not to spoil it, but a little bit. Um, I do think uh, w with any kind of reality show, there is extra drama. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think they did a very good way um, of portraying the actual industry and mixing it with lifestyle. 
So I do appreciate that the women are all, you know, it's only women and then the two guys who are the owners. Um, there's a lot of drama, unnecessary drama, but in reality, it does happen because it's politics and politics is there in any company. Yeah. Yeah. Any company you go to, there will be politics, maybe not to the same extent. Uh, but in terms of like laws and regulations, it, it does help because they highlight very important things like Fed increasing their uh, rate, uh, interest mm -hmm. rates, mansion taxes, all of these things for people who are in real estate and who are comparing, like, let's say, L.A., Miami to Dubai, which happens almost every day. It's very important to know that. So if you are not into, you know, reading about it through financial posts and newsletters, or you've never been to US or you've never lived there and you don't know what it is, like legally, they did highlight a few things that like, if you're new in real estate and you've never been in US and you don't know what the regulations are, listen and use it because it will build your own credibility. Okay. So it's, uh, it's there are a few tricks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Maybe very it's good. interesting to do this kind of, of, uh, series i don't know how, what is it it's reality or uh, it's, it's a reality in, show yeah uh, which is called maybe Sun, it's interesting uh, to do the same in dubai yeah. they did uh, <laughs> they did million dollar listing here yeah, in dubai i heard yeah. about it yeah uh, so it's a uh, here they they did the kind of like series where like, they did the same yeah. thing oh okay like million dollar going? listing the one that ryan uh serhan started in oh, new okay. york but they did it not on netflix they did it with stars play mm -hmm, so that's mm -hmm. why it's not as mm. popular but there is a version of it but again you know like i've been to the premiere i've seen the episode i've known the people it's just fake <laughs> it's <laughs> just <laughs> very fake you <laughs> know like it doesn't happen like that it's a very idealized version of mm -hmm. real estate mm -hmm. and again talking about women if you if you're referring to selling sunset you know that they all look like adult dolls that okay. work and that they go like it's not a re real thing yeah uh but few things there are so they yeah. they, they kind of put the drama on it and yes, okay yes, so yeah. we'll definitely watch it all of us anna yeah tell us about how do you feel yourself as a mom into real estate is it really um tough to work as a mom because you have to do a double extra work uh, you have to yeah. you have to be mom you have to be wife and then you have to be um, real estate agent. Uh, so you do the extra work, right? Uh, how does very, it feel? It, it's, uh, it's hard, but you know, when you feel yourself happy, what you do, it's not, uh, it's not like a work. It's sometimes you have a hard, uh, difficult moments, but, uh, I enjoy, I enjoy my babies. I enjoy my work. So, uh -huh. and, uh, do you, um, but by the you... way, I miss my babies also. Okay. A lot when I They're work. They're here, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, do you do you sh do you split your commission with your kids? Uh, but like, they I mean, took do you, all I of mean... my commissions, my kids. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> the commission is for the kids. For the kids. It's for I, the see, kids. I, I work for my kids. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, what do you think of the? If I told you the story with um, uh, how do they? How do your colleagues react if, if you wear high heels into your work, uh, into your office, uh, or if you, I don't know, if you, like in terms of your, in terms of your uniform to a real estate, how do you, how you should wear yourself and within the clothes and uh, like, uh, you feel comfortable if you, if you wear high heels uh, into your office, because you have to go outside and show the property side, right? Yeah. It's actually very funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When I used to work at X Capital, AX okay. Capital, Everyone knows that they're very strict on timing and, uh, you know, what people wear, especially girls. And I think that's actually very good because not every company has that. Uh -huh. It's it's important to be in heels. They had a rule oh, to okay. not come in flats uh, unless wow. you're pregnant. What? Uh, and uh, yes, it is a bit hard. I understand it. I was fussy myself because, you know, you cannot walk in heels everywhere, like construction yeah. side and everything like that. But I do think that heels and a nice suit and, you know, a nice dress and the way you look really, really matters. Like skirts, not above your knee by like five centimeters. Trousers, they need to be like proper, you know, your shirt not too revealing. Mm -hmm. And I think it helps with what we were talking about, you know, like, uh -huh, uh -huh. because people do judge you by how you look. It you is. cannot deny that. You can be the most knowledgeable person, but if you're not approachable, 
nobody's going to work with it you, is. right? It so is. I think it is very important. I think uh, uniforms are... Push, did you have a story where you had to wear your high heels and then somehow suddenly you went, you had to go to the property side, show the property? Honestly, it is painful. Like you cannot just uh, wear heels, walk onto the side, yeah. show the property, show the plot that the property is going to come here because it happened. Like uh, the first time when I was uh, like uh, taking a client, he was mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. in Dubai to show him the property and I was wearing heels it was tough for me and the client oh, yeah. could see it that yeah. she is in pain uh, and let's just finish it quick and we'll go to the developer office and we'll just check it off so uh, it is painful yeah. okay okay yeah. what do you think of the woman's are uh, just landing into the real estate right now because you just uh we've just talked it off the of mm -hmm. the of the record right uh, you said you haven't a thought on that which you you really wanted to share that uh, your opinion and your thought onto woman which is just landing into the real estate yeah i think it kind of ties in with what we talked about mm -hmm. um I think a lot of women look at million dollar listing they look at selling it sunset is, is. you know this ideal perception of the industry and then they come in and they think it's very easy you mm -hmm. just have to look good and you know mm -hmm. um i think it's very important for women to understand and focus on the actual knowledge mm -hmm. yeah. you know you also have to invest everything you get in your education and the way you look mm -hmm. you know like again with uniforms mm -hmm. uh, you mm -hmm. have to be very presentable Uh, you have to be very tough because mm -hmm. this is a cutthroat industry. Yeah. You have to be straight up. You cannot be willy-washy about mm -hmm. things, you know, because being a woman, yes, everyone thinks you are weak, you know, that you are the minority or they will look at you differently. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest to every woman who is looking into real estate for whatever reason it is, even if it's just commission and money, which is a valid point, Everyone is doing it for money, mm -hmm. but you it have is. to approach it as an actual job, you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's actually very cool because she is a mom. You have two kids. But with this industry, we're able to do much more, you mm -hmm. know, and it just shows how powerful women are. You can have two kids. You can be a loyal mm -hmm. wife and you can be a professional, you know, wow. and earn yeah. your own money. So I think it that's beautiful. If you position yourself right, it's yeah. absolutely wonderful. It is good thoughts. And it you is can manage thoughts. your time also. For me, yeah. it was very important because I want to live yeah, well, my well, life. My, my know, next not question only was to work, 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 because real estate, it's all about work. You know, it's a lifestyle. But in real estate, the good thing you can manage your meeting you can manage your calls uh, time you can uh, manage everything so it's yeah. uh, for me it's uh, very perfect that's why i can manage to be the mom and the real estate agent also okay and kush what would you say like within the one word what one sentence uh for the new coming up uh, ladies into real estate i would say like the number game has to be very very strong because any investor okay let's start again yeah. it <laughs> It's fine, no worries. Fine. It's gonna stop? Yeah. Okay. He agrees to you. <laughs> <laughs> so what I believe is any woman who is planning to enter into real estate, especially into any international market, the number game has to be very strong. If I talk about myself, no matter if I got a lead on Instagram, a fake account who is a very big IT professional, but if my number game was not strong, he would not have bought from me. So it is very important. Your knowledge, mm. your number game has to be very strong. What do you think of the new startup companies which um, trying to help for the real estate industry make their life easier because for example if we talk about property finder and buyout mm -hmm. right uh, it's a really good portal uh, mm -hmm. to list and to, to get leads right mm -hmm. and you list you use them right yeah and uh, what do you think of those uh, new companies which are just burning uh, i mean the, which is just coming out here into the real market and trying to help enhance um to real estate uh, would you use them and uh, would you suggest definitely, them definitely uh, because see i believe definitely i'm using social media but there has to be something where i can list my product and there's a lot of people coming in the market who wants to buy and there are a lot of people there who wants to sell also when we talk about secondary also so these platforms are important actually especially this one i love yeah. a lot because uh, they bring a lot of new um, tools you know very uh, important for for agents to know for example uh, analysis uh, from the 
uh, areas uh, for future metro station, for example, mm -hmm. and etc. So I think uh, this one, if the startup have a mm -hmm. good ideas something new because property finder buyout it's uh, similar it's uh, nothing new you know mm -hmm. and b2b homes for me it's uh, it's amazing platform we can we can work uh, and you have all in the same platform it is it is so yeah uh thanks for coming in it was really really pleasure and fun to have you here uh, talk with you uh, we really talked it a lot especially we've talked to things that would never ever talk into the radio onto tv or <laughs> it's gonna be only here in the, our podcast you gotta stay till the end and watch it and that was really really nice talk thanks for coming in thank i really appreciate you, appreciate you. thank you thank you it us. was great thank connecting you. actually yeah. and stay tuned See you on the next episode. Cheers.